yard? Mess up the... Huh? Eddie, you promised to help clean up. I will. I just needed to, um, save the yard from creatures from outer space. Looks like we need to save the yard from Super Eddie. It's not that messy. Ugh. Whoa! Who left that there? You did? Okay. I'll help clean up the yard. I just need to do one thing first. What's that? Go on an adventure to the jungle. Hey, everyone, who wants to come to the jungle with me? Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's go. Nah, I think I'll stay here. Me too. What? It's going to be fun. Okay, I'll come along, but we still have to clean up later. No problem. I promise. Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Isn't that one of the Queen's royal guards? Mm. Uh. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm in a terrible hurry. I need to roll this egg all the way to the stone throne. Why can't you just carry your egg? Running, I can do. Carrying <laughs> is a little trickier. Oh, if only there was some young, brave group of egg movers who I could enlist to help me. We're brave. We'll be your egg movers. Oh, will you? Will, will we? we? Sure. How hard can it be? Oh, I'd be so grateful. You will take care of it, won't you? It's extremely delicate and fragile. It's an egg, after all. Don't worry. Soap Reddy's on the case. I promise we'll take special care of it. Oh, thank you. How far is the stone throne? Um, quite far. How far? Do you see the tallest tree in the distance? And the hill behind it? Well, it's just beyond that. Oh, and did I mention the rocky path and all the fallen down trees? Mm -hmm. Must run. Farewell, little one. Don't hatch without me. I know what we need. This will get us to the stone throne. All aboard the Egg Mover Express. Let's go nice and slow. Eddie, slow down. There's an egg back there, remember? Relax. Super Eddie is always ready. I know what I'm doing. <gasps> End of the road. I don't got it. Super Eddie to the rescue! Eddie! Woo! Last one to the bottom is a rotten. Oh no. Hey! Gotcha! <laughs> what in the name of dribbling dewdrops is going on here? Try this, monkeys! <laughs> oh, no! Eddie, you made a promise to be careful with the egg. Remember? Relax. They're only monkeys. What could go wrong? <laughs> you see? Whew. Now, come on, Eddie. Let's get... Eddie! Well, just 
just playing catch. Uh-oh. Follow that egg. Somewhere. I found it! All right! Yay, Tessa! I'll take it. No, no way. way! What do you mean? I got the egg this far. Yeah, and you almost broke it, too. From now on, we'll all take care of the egg together. You're right. I guess I got a little carried away. I'll try to be more careful. I promise. Huh? We better get moving. This egg sounds ready to hatch. But how are we gonna get it there in time without breaking it? I know how. But we're gonna need some branches and lots of leaves. Here's one that might work. Baby ostriches sure look funny. <laughs> That's not a baby ostrich. You think it's a dinosaur? I think it's a big green chicken. I say it's an alligator. My, my. You have such good imaginations. Presenting Her Majesty, the Queen. Your Majesty. Mama, Mama. My little hatchling. You made it safe and sound. You mean this was your egg? Of course. These trusty egg movers transported your egg for me. They kept their promise exquisitely, ma'am. I am very grateful. Soup ready saves the day again! Ahem. <clears throat> I mean, Soup ready couldn't have done it without its friends. They helped me keep my promise. Well, in that case, you're all invited to join me for some refreshments to celebrate the arrival of my little hatchling. Yeah! <sighs> a nice cold drink. Just what I needed after a long hike through the jungle. Eddie? I think he's thirsty, Eddie. Eddie? Eddie? Here you go, little guy. Looks like Eddie's made a new friend. Eddie? <laughs> <sighs> Just look at this place. Don't worry, Sophie. This time, I'll clean up. Super Eddie always keeps his promises. keeping your promise and that's really great. But why don't you slow down and then we can all help? Um, sure. I'll go tortoise speed. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody! Welcome to the first ever Backyard Egg Extravaganza! Team one, 
Eddie and Mia. Yes. Team two, Tessa and Kobe. Okay, you know the rules. Partners pass the egg to each other, and the first team to get its egg over the finish line without breaking it wins. Let's go, Sophie. This egg wants to get rolling. Eggs ready. Eggs set. Eggs go! Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie. Oh, yeah! Yippee. Yeah! <laughs> Eddie slides into the lead. But Tessa and Kobe are gaining on them. Come on, toss it! Toss it! is a head by nose. This is so exciting. Go, Tessa. Come on, Eddie. You can do it. And it's exactly a tie. A tie? Aw, oh, come on. What good's a race without a winner? Rematch. But with race cars. Race cars, yes. We can race on a big track. I'm in. Let's go. Yeah! I can't wait to race! Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song to the really rather royal road race. Ripping, rousing, absolutely riveting. Dad. Sorry, son. Continue. The race will begin here and finish there at Pigalot Palace. Where the victory celebration will be held in a royally dignified manner. No light cheering will be permitted. Like this. Ra, ra, ra. There's the starting flag! Woohoo! Dad! You said I could start the race! Steady Eddie gets a head start and leaves him in the dust! Go, Eddie! The kid's a born winner! You said it! Wait, who said it? Eyes on the road, Ace! You do want to win this thing, right? I love winning! And you do anything to win? Anything. Oh. Are you sure, Ace? A oh. zillion percent! Okay, leave it to me. Think of me as your good luck job. Quick, take this dirt road here. Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck in the mud! <laughs> and he rounds the curve like a pro! No one can catch up to him! Wow. 
my good luck charm. What are you doing? Helping you win, champ. Nobody can drive on banana peels. But that's not very fair. No, but now you're way out in front. I guess I am. I stopped all the other racers, too. All of them? Yep. But isn't that really unfair? Who cares about fair? You're going to win. But that's... And winning is the best, right? Well, I do love winning. It's great. Better than great. But what about my friends? Hey, you said that you'd do anything, right? Winning is the best. But cheating is the worst. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? The right thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Sophie! Look out! Bananas! Thanks, Eddie! Hey, wait! You look like a winner! I could be your good luck charm! I'll help you, Kobe. Mm. Here, Mia. Got it. Thanks! There you go, Tessa. Thanks! I, King Pigalot, pronounce you, Sophie, the winner of the really rather royal road race. Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Hooray for Sophie! Aw, thank you. But I couldn't have won without Eddie's help. He helped me, too. And me. That makes four of us. And because Eddie helped all of us, I think he's the real winner. Here you go, Eddie. Hooray! Yeah. Congratulations, Eddie! Bravo! It's Nikki Mia. That's me! This is the story of the tortoise in the hare, which is like a big bunny rabbit, but different. The role of the tortoise would be played by a really slow zebra because we don't have a tortoise. <sighs> so one day, the really slow zebra and the hairy bunny rabbit had a race. The bunny was so sure she was going to win that she stopped to play in the sandbox. But the zebra just kept moving along, slow and steady. So... You know, Bunny, if you get all sandy, it might slow you down. No, you're supposed to pass her, not help her. Gee, thanks, really slow zebra. Boing, boing, boing. <sighs> Then the bunny saw some swings. She was so far ahead of the really slow zebra, she decided to stop and play. So the slow and steady zebra... Need a push? Thanks! No! You know, bunny, we're having so much fun, why don't we cross the finish line together too? Great idea! No! It's not supposed to happen that way. The really slow zebra is supposed to win. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Look, it's a tie! <laughs> Whee! And so, the zebra and the bunny became best friends. And that's definitely not the story of the tortoise and the hare. You should tell us that one sometime. <sighs> The end. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's all tied up at the kickball cup. And the crowd's going wild. Mm. 
hush falls over the backyard as Ace Pitcher Kobe winds up and... Whoa! Butter sandwiches. We're gonna need a bigger field, and I need some more lunch. <laughs> Yay! Every team they want to pick her, cause she's such an awesome kicker. We really do need a bigger place to play. Somewhere I can blast one for miles. Mia might need some tougher competition too. I know. We can play against the three little pigs. They have the best team in all fairy tale land. Great idea! Don't worry, Eddie. We'll bring a picnic. Can we have your famous peanut jelly and butter sandwiches? Sure! Mm. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we bought an adventure. Wait up! Look, everyone! Whoa! Wow! Oh, yeah! This is the perfect spot. Let's set everything up so we can have a picnic right after our game. Yeah, we're gonna be hungry. I'll help Sophie make the sandwiches. We'll set up the chairs. That just leaves the umbrella for some shade. Mia, can you set up the umbrella? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's not an umbrella. Oh, well, the umbrella's easy. I just gotta practice the Mega Mia kick before the three little pigs get here. <laughs> Done. 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 Steady Yeti is ready for kickball. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Are you ready? Just need to set up the bases. And get in a little practice. But the umbrella still has to be set up. Those sandwiches will get all melty in the sun. Mia... Oh, right. Umbrella. Yeah! Hooray! <laughs> Don't start without me! Majesty. I was hoping you'd ask. Would you set up the picnic umbrella on the table so I can go... do princess things? Like play kickball? Your wish is our command, Your Highness. We love setting up picnic umbrellas. Picnic umbrellas are our favorite. Um, just one question. What's a picnic umbrella? This! Um, and what exactly do we do with it? Easy. You'll figure it out. Thanks. Gotta run. Oh, oh. oh. check me for cracks. Oh, you're okay. Uh. 
What's with the outfit? Oh, I always play in this. You got the umbrella set up okay? Taken care of. Oh, here comes the three little pigs. And they're two big cousins. Let's play kickball. Princess. Uh, I forgot something. Be right back. Hang on. <laughs> it's gobbling me up. Umbrellas don't gobble. Here. Ah. <sighs> Still in one piece. Those things are dangerous. It's just an umbrella. All you have to do is open it and put it in the middle of the table. So, bye. Oops. I'm getting gobbled again. Rats, rats, rats. They started without me. Whoa! Your Majesty! Whoa! More like it's got you! Grab him! Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs> Whee! Oh, a million rats! Hey, Mia! What have you been doing? Yeah, we missed you for the game. Well, I... Um... <laughs> and where's the, um... <laughs> Brella. We did it, we did it, we did it! The umbrella's over the table! My lunch! Oh, I feel all scrambled up. Uh, I, um... I just asked them for some help. Well... Actually, I asked them to do it for me. Didn't quite work out, huh? No, I'm sorry. I should have just done it myself. But I wanted to play kickball so much. <sighs> now they've ruined everything. Okay, I've ruined everything. Well, maybe we can unruin everything. Yeah, we're a team after all. Really? Thanks, guys. Got it, Your Majesty. No! I mean, thanks, but I can do this myself. Like I promised I would. Yeah! Hooray! Hooray! How does she do it? Come on, let's all eat. I can't believe I missed the game. <gasps> Did you win? We lost. Pretty bad. Yeah, those pigs mean business. But after lunch, we're having a rematch. And we could really use Mia and her mega kick. All right. <laughs> yes! Hooray! Let's go, Mia! Yeah, Mia! Come on, you guys. Colby's going to show us how to make a pyramid. Okay, the secret of making a pyramid is everyone, every one of us, has to do their part. Ready? Uh-huh. Yes! Ready, yep. Yeah. So, Eddie, Sophie, and I will be on the bottom. Mia and Tessa can be on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget Mr. Bunny. Wow, we did it! Yes, we did. We just have to keep it nice and tight. All together. Go away! Shuby, get out of here! Whoa! Careful! Kobe, don't! No! no! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Littleville! What a pretty town! I think I'll go 
for a visit. Welcome to your new neighborhood, Lucky. You're gonna love Littleville. It's the best place to live. <sighs> or take a nap. Good day, Sophie. Good day to you, Mia. Taking Mr. Papa for a stroll, I see. Yes, and he's been very well behaved. Hello, ladies of Littleville. What are you doing on this fine day, Eddie? I was just about to make a mud pie. Did someone say pie? Mmm, I love pie. See, Lucky, Littleville is the nicest, friendliest little town in the entire world. Beep, beep. I'm just coming home after a hard day at work. Hessa, follow the directions. The road goes around Littleville, not through it. No problem. I'm driving Tessa style. Vroom. <laughs> Look out! Uh-oh. of stuff to jump over and crawl through. Yes, a jungle obstacle course. We'll have a race. And I'll win. Let's go! We'll fix Littleville later. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. But first we sing this song We sing this song 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 Hey, hey, we bought an adventure Guys, welcome to the official jungle obstacle course. You've all chosen your teammates. Hmm? Yay! We've got our team. All right. <laughs> oh, teammate, great idea. Got any dinosaurs? Let me check. No. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm Emmett, and I'm winning today. Whoa. Hey, Emmett. I'm Eddie, and I'm ready to win. Want to be my teammate? Deal. Yes! Ahem. <clears throat> Attention, racers. Oh, yeah. All eyes here. Listen carefully. Everyone has to follow the arrows. Give me five. All right. Follow the arrows. We're so gonna win this. Oh, yeah. Follow the... Hey, Daddy. Arrows. That's not fair. We got a head start. Let the official jungle obstacle course race begin. Yeah! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Yippee! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, okay. Which way? Which way? That way. No, I say this way. Here we go. Gonna win this. Yeah! 
Time, follow me. No, follow me. I said, follow me. <sighs> this is fun. <laughs> Come on, guys, this way. Here's a red arrow. They're going to win. We need a shortcut. That way, through the log. <laughs> Eddie, I'm stuck. <laughs> Get me out of here! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Whoa! Do that again! And put more elephant into it! Win? No, no, no. That's the finish line over there. And this is the starting line. You mean we're right back where we started? Precisely. Maybe next time you'll follow the arrows. Hmm? Huh? Come on, Emmett. Let's start over and try again. And this time, follow the arrows. Yeah, if we'd followed the arrows the first time, we would have won for sure. True, true, so very true. And for that reason, I present you both an award for most improved team. Congratulations. Everyone, just follow my directions. Eddie, you put your box over there. Mia, that box goes on top of Kobe's. Tessa, now put your box on top. Just a little that way. That's perfect. Our little bill house looks even better than before. Hey. I bet it'll look even better if we knock it down one more time and build it all over again. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Who turned off the light? <laughs> the Dell 
delicate snowflake floats on the breeze. I am a delicate snowflake, floaty, floaty, tra-la-la. I do make the most perfect snowflake, don't I? Mm-hmm. Here comes the Ediosaurus. Run! Ribbit, ribbit. Shh, we're making a movie. I'm a frog. Ribbit? A movie? Want a dinosaur in it? But it's called the Snowflake and the Frosty Frog. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. Everyone knows dinosaurs don't like it when it's cold out. Ribbit? It's not that cold. You're right. We should go someplace that's really snowy. Like in a snow globe. Let's go to Snowglobia. We can make a really great movie there. Come on, Sophie. Let's go! Me too! Bye-bye. Have fun. Two, three, four. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this Wintery! The snow will look so pretty and sparkly in our movie. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, what are we going to film? Uh, 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 what in the uh, name of sneezing snowballs is going on? Uh, look! Uh, 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 Aww, a little snow monkey. How cute. I think the poor guy's stuck. Oh, Fooey, what are we going to do? Don't worry, Eddie is always ready to help. Now that's a movie. Double knot. There, all better. Ah, it was nothing, little guy. I think we should. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, uh, nothing. We just thought of something we want to do. That's all. Wait, where are you going? Oh, just going to do stuff. What kind of stuff? <laughs> secret stuff. What kind of secret stuff? You'll find out later. Come on, Sophie. Well, I've got stuff to do too. Ah, ah, ah. Fun stuff with my new friend. Ah, ah. My new friend? Looks like their secret is that they want to have fun without me. <laughs> well, we'll have way more fun without them. Just you and me, Ack. Come on! <laughs> so, my furry little friend, what kind of fun do you think? <laughs> hmm. Well, whatever fun we have needs to get us away from those silly giggles. I know! Let's build a snow fort! Ah, 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 ah. We can play in it together! On our own! Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ack, are you okay? Being weird. Come 
on, Ak. We've got a snow fort to build. Good work, Ak. This is going to be the best. I'm coming, Ak. Whoa. Man. <laughs> he can guard our snow fort and stop anyone else from getting in. <laughs> I'll make the body and you can make the head. Definitely gonna want to come in, but they're not invited. Eddie, Eddie! That didn't take long. Sorry, you can't come in because you're not invited. It's only for me and my real friends. Huh? We are your real friends, and we don't want to come in. We want you to come out. If you were my real friend, you wouldn't have gone off to play without me, and you wouldn't have told secrets, and you wouldn't have... Uh, what's going on? They're all here for you. For me? What? Why? Emma and I have been making a special project just for you. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. You were so brave. And so nice when you got Ack out of the tree. We decided to make you something special. Come on. So, we made a little movie to show everyone how helpful and great you are. You did? nice surprise for me, and the whole time I was mad because I thought you were leaving me out of your fun. Oh, Eddie, we didn't realize. I'm the one who didn't realize. I shouldn't have jumped to confusions. Don't you mean conclusions? Exactly. I'm sorry. We still friends? Of course. <laughs> Look, other head, what on Earth planet is that thing? It is fuzzy. Maybe a furry rock? <laughs> Rocks do, do not, not yawn. yawn. It, it must, must be a sleepy Earth monster. <laughs> <laughs> Two-headed alien robot from another planet? That is not a sleepy monster. It's only Lucky, our dog. Uh-oh, other head, we have miscomputed error. Error. It is just, we have never heard of such a thing. You've never heard of pets? Of course we have heard of pets, but on our planet, everyone knows that the best pets are... Pineapples. <laughs> Meet our pineapple pet, Spike. Sit, Spike. Stay. Good pineapple. Fetch, Spike. Go on, fetch. You can do it. 
Mm. Our pet is sleepy, too. <laughs> <laughs> We'll turn this bunny into an elephant right before your very eyes. Please welcome my assistants, Mia and Tessa. We are a robot alien from outer space. Why are you wearing that costume? We thought it would make the trick even more amazing, Earth magician. Uh, okay. Well, assistant, robot, alien from space, help me hold this, please. Abracadabra, Abracadelephant, turn this bunny into an elephant. Wow, that was amazing. I mean, that was amazing. Wow, that was mm. so great. Woohoo! Awesome trick, Kobe. I don't know. I'm still learning. But someday, I'm going to do really great tricks for a big audience. Why wait? Kobe, you can do your big magic show now. Yeah, how about in the jungle? The animals will love your tricks. Um, okay. We're off to the jungle. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. Special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we got an adventure. is this? Hey, hi. Welcome to Gerald's Jungle Joint. I am Gerald. Hi, Gerald. Nice to meet you. Bet you put on some cool shows here. You betcha. We do the coolest magic shows in the jungle. This is the amazing Kobe, and he's the coolest magician we know. Maybe Kobe could put on a big magic show in your club. Absolutely. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, amazing Kobe. Give me some skin. We'll go tell all the animals about your show, Kobe. Then these will come in handy. Whoa! Whoa look at that. That's so cool. So. Let's talk magic. Okay. Check this out. As you see, this log is empty. Nothing inside this log. Cool. Whoa. <gasps> I hold in my hand, fresh from the tree, a coconut, or is it? Wow, you are the best. No, no. Tell me about your tricks. Well, I kind of turned this little uh, rabbit into an elephant. No, I bet they love it when you turn a little rabbit into a giant elephant. Well, they did stand up and applaud and cheer and stuff. A standing ovation! I like you, Kobeo. You do? Tell me about your other tricks. Uh, okay. 
Did you ever hear of the robot alien from Space Trek? No, but I love aliens. Well, I made this robot alien up here from space, and it has two heads. Come see the amazing Kobe! Magic show at Gerald's Jungle Joint. Come one, come all! One show only. And that's when I make the alien from outer space fly over the audience and way up into the sky. Spectacular, Kobe Obiolio. So, are you gonna do that trick today? Oh, well, Gerald, Gerald, Dio. I don't know if, I mean, it's your club. Maybe you should. This is your show. They'll love you. Kobe, we got a really big audience. They're waiting for the show to start. Already? This is gonna be great. Kobe was telling me all about his amazing tricks, like... <coughs> <clears throat> Something stuck in my throat. Like turning a little bunny into a huge elephant. He did? That's not what I... <laughs> this guy. What a magician. Turns two of you into an alien and makes you fly. I can't believe it. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Um, maybe you guys should, uh, go get your seats? Okay. okay, sure. Good luck, Kobe. I want to see this. Well, kobe it's showtime. Uh, Kobe? You okay? Gerald, there's something I have to tell you. I can't turn a real rabbit into a huge elephant, and I didn't turn my friends into an alien, and I didn't make anyone fly. I just told you that stuff because you're a great magician, and I wanted you to like me. Kobe. Kobe Obio, you didn't have to make all that up. I like you fine. But I'm not a great magician. Not yet, anyway. But you're a great guy. And by being honest with me, you performed the greatest magic of all. You turned a stranger into a friend. You better get out there. But I don't think I can. I'm not that good. I'm just. You're just learning. And that's fine. Kobe, 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 Kobe. Tell you what, Kobe. Kobe. Why don't we put on a magic show together? Kobe, 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 Kobe. We? Us? Really? <laughs> and now, Gerald's Jungle Joint presents the amazing Kobe and his handsome assistant, Gerald. Have a 
real good time And I will guarantee that I'll be me Yes, I'll be me for the best bedazzling is to take it nice and slowly. Ta-da! Emma amazing! Wow! Nice, Emma. So pretty. Um, well, I think it needs a little more mm. There! Look at all that mm. Now that's bedazzled. Oh, no, 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 Mia. That's besplattered. It's all about taking your time and putting things in just the right place. But I like slapping them down and spreading them around like this. Mia, and I'll do it the right way. You'll see. My side's gonna be so, so beautiful. Well, I get the gems. I get the glitter. I get the glue. It doesn't look like we're going to get a turn. But I wanted to make something sparkly. Wait, I have an idea. Let's all go to Snow Globia! Yeah, we can make something sparkly with all that sparkly snow. You guys want to come to Snow Globia? I'm staying here to finish my bedazzling. Well, if Emma is staying, then so am I. Okay, see you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Snow Globia? Let's go! Yeah. Just as soon as the yard stops spinning around. <laughs> hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. we make? A speedboat! No, wait! A llama! Wait, wait, wait! A time machine! No, I was thinking more like... More like a sparkly ice palace! <laughs> Loretta? Loretta, you come back here! I'm not gonna tell you again! And you too, Bernard! And Eunice! You listen to Mama now! I can wait. <sighs> oh, dear. I am never going to get my igloo finished at this rate. Igloo? I was hoping to sleep in it tonight. But it gets even colder when the sun goes down. Maybe we could help. We were going to make something in the snow anyhow. Hey! <laughs> Loretta, I'm warning you. Eddie and I can look after your babies. We can? We can. And we'll help you make the igloo. Oh, thank you. 
a mama's work is never done. Now, let me show you the plans. I've started building it just over here. It looks like we're going to have some fun. Bunny style. Where'd they go? <laughs> Come back, bunnies! Hmm, let's see. Wow, you've got big plans for this little igloo. I sure do. A room for each of the young'uns and one for yours truly. Okay, Kobe and I can build two rooms and you and Jack can build the other two. But we better follow the plan so we build it right, right? Or we could just build like crazy. Eddie and I have a special treat for you. Look, we made a snowman. <laughs> you can make your own, but just be careful. <laughs> hey, come back here. How's this? Move it a teeny tiny bit towards me. How's this? A teenier, weenier bit the other way. Kobe, make up your mind. Oh no! <sighs> Whoops. Hey, rabbits! Wait up, you guys! <laughs> Tessa, nice and slow. Ah! How's this? I don't know. It doesn't exactly match the plans. Already? Yep. All done. Oh, dear. This wasn't my plan. But you didn't even look at the plans. All you've done is plan. You guys haven't built a thing. Have to. Have not. We have to, Jack. Now, now, you're carrying on worse than my youngins. Well, what are we going to do now? Going too fast didn't work. And going too slow didn't work either. So what we've got to do is work somewhere in between. Quickly but carefully. Well, let's get a move on. It's getting dark. <laughs> well, if you can't beat them, join them. What do you say we take these baby bunnies back? You took the words right out of my... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Yeah! Hooray! We're done. Yeah. <laughs> and just in time. Look at them, my little snow angels, all tuckered out. They're not the only ones. I hope they weren't too much trouble. Well... No, no, no trouble at all. <laughs> hey! Loretta, what have I told you about snowballs? Boys and sleeping dogs. <sighs> May we present our Emma Credible in Mia Magical Joint Creation The Sparkly Razzle Bedazzlement! Beautiful! Wow, it's very. It's very both of 
you. Your big, sloppy sparkles are great, Mia. And your just so jewels are the best, Emma. They work well together. <sighs> Mia, you're all messy. And now you are too. <laughs> <laughs> We agreed. And I changed my mind. But... What was that? Beats me. Anyway, I really want to go on an adventure to the restaurant. But we both decided... To go to the pirate ship. And then I decided to do something different. What is that? Oh, it's me. Why are you being so grumbly? It's not me being grumbly. It's my tummy. The dog stole my breakfast, and I'm starving. Hold on. I think I might have a... Here, have a grilled cheese sandwich. Still warm. My favorite. Thanks. Well, we should definitely go to the restaurant now. You're hungry, right, Mia? I could eat. Okay, have it your way, Mr. Bossy Banana Pants. Great! Hit it, Kobe. I mean, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. is going on here? Finally, it's way past our lunchtime, and we're all very hungry. The dog must have eaten their breakfast, too. Thank you very much. Um, you're welcome. We beg your royal pardon, King Pigalot. We didn't know you were waiting for us. So, what's on the menu? We were hoping you'd tell us. Well, that's great! We can make whatever we want! Come on, guys! Be right back! Splendid! Thank you. So, guys, what can we make the pigs for their lunch? I know! Pizza! Everyone loves pizza! Especially you, Eddie. But I love pizza, too! Me, too! Me, three! Okay. Me as well, I guess. It was my idea, so I should be the boss. How about everyone's the boss of something? Okay, but I'll be the boss of everyone who's being a boss. Mia, you can be the boss of greeting customers. Tessa, you be the boss of taking orders. Kobe, you be the boss of scrubbing the dishes. Um, gee, thanks. You're welcome. And what about me? Sophie, you can be, um, the boss of being my assistant chef. Your assistant? What does an assistant chef do? Well, whatever I tell you, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I am the boss. Hmm, I don't know about this. We want food! We want food! We want food! We want food! Okay, team, let's get to work. So what's first, boss? We're going to need flour for the pizza dough, and lots of it. How much dough do we need to make? All of it, 
for one giant pizza. Really? Are you sure? Sophie, of course I'm sure. I'm the boss, remember? Okay, if you say so. Hmm. <laughs> Just wait till you have to wash all the dishes. <sighs> Hi, how are you today? I'll be your server. We're hungry. Hey, what's to eat? What would you like today? May I take your order? Hey, where's the grub? Welcome! <laughs> where's my food? I'm super hungry! Wow, that's one giant dough ball. It sure is. Good luck, boss. The good news is that they all love pizza. The bad news is they all want it now. Can't you stall them? Mia's trying. She's telling a fairy tale. But I'm not sure that Three Little Pigs is the best idea. And so, the big bad wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. It's horrible. Okay, well, I just need to throw it in the air and catch it. You know, like chefs do. But that dough is huge. Shouldn't we do it together? The boss wants to do it himself. That's right. I'm in charge. I don't need any help. But... <sighs> oh, no! The dough ball! We have to get it back! But you said you could do it yourself, Eddie. Yeah, boss. You get it back. I'll never be able to catch that giant dough ball all by myself. I need your help. Okay, but on one condition. Right. We work together. Yeah, no bosses. Okay, you got it. Now let's get that dough ball. And then, the big, scary wolf right to the roof of the little pig's house. <laughs> um, keep the stories coming, Mia. We'll be right back. Hurry, catch the dough ball. Quick, it's getting away. <laughs> we have to get it back! Oh no! Ew, yuck! That's one disgusting dough ball. It's ruined! What are we going to do now? You know, the pigs might actually like a money pizza. Hey, Sophie's right. It's covered with all their favorite gross things. But how will we get it back to the restaurant? Wait, I have an idea. Kobe, can you drive a tractor? Yeah. I guess pigs aren't the only ones who like mud. Need a hand? <laughs> Little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Ooh. <laughs> wee! One giant and quite delicious mud covered pizza with extra grass and straw and other gross stuff. Oh, thank goodness. I was running out of pig stories. You made this, Chef Eddie. We made it together, your pickiness. All of us. Even me. Sort of. Well, I must say, that is a pizza fit for a pig. A pig king, that is. Yay! <laughs> and what, may I ask, is for dessert, Chef Eddie? Hmm, better ask the team. I'm not the boss anymore. <laughs> That's my tummy saying, I'm still hungry. <laughs> my tummy just said the same thing. Mine agrees. 
That makes four of us. Since we couldn't eat the pizza, I thought you guys would like some cookies. Cookies! Yeah! Yummy! Hmm. Good. Thank you, Eddie. Hey, don't look at me. It's Lucky. Here, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe, why'd you stop? I was just getting into it. More like a loud noise. Woohoo! Yay! This is very fun! <laughs> Woohoo! I love loud noises! I'll be back. Roar! Here comes the dinosaur! Roar! Louder! Roar! Louder! Roar! Mm. Put the animals down for a nap. And they need total quiet so they can sleep. <sighs> Aren't they the cutest, sweetest, snooziest? Okay, Mia, we'll keep it down. <sighs> Every time I make some noise, someone always tells me to be quiet. I mean, wouldn't it be great if there was some place where we could make as much noise as we wanted to? Yeah. Where no one ever complains if you're loud. Yeah! Shh! Or says, shh! Hmm. The land of the loud! That's where we need to go. Where's that? It's where we can be as loud as we want. Awesome! Land of the loud, here we come! Shh! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Are you coming, Mia? Oh, rats. You woke everyone up. Oops. Shh, don't worry. I'll sing you back to sleep when the noises are gone. Rock-a-bye, babies, on the back lawn. You'll go to sleep when the noises are gone. Wait up, guys. Quiet for the land of the loud. Loud, 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 loud. Loud, 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 loud. Now that's more like it. Hey, let's really make some noise.
for a while, but even I'm glad it's over. Uh-oh. It's not over yet. What do we do now? I, I wish, wish Mia was here to sing a lullaby. Maybe they'd quiet down. Toby, you're a genius. I am? Well, sing a song about being quiet and get them all to join in. Sleep? What did I miss? You missed marching in a really loud parade. Who says I missed it? Wake up, fluffy heads. Now, quiet time is over. We can all be in a loud parade. Everybody follow me. There's a time for up and there's a time for down. There's a time to smile and there's a time to frown. There's a time for chores and there's a time for toys. But you gotta have some quiet before you make some noise. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Boom! Boom! <laughs> Yay! Yay! I'm gonna 
gonna win this time. Nuh-uh, I'm faster. Nuh-uh. Faster, faster! Right. Yay! <laughs> All right! How many laps is that? Um, 1,100. I counted nine. So, how many to go? Why, getting tired? Uh-uh. <laughs> going to prove that I'm the fastest. Huh? You mean that I'm the fastest, and I'm happy to prove it anywhere, anytime, rain or shine. Hmm. How about snow? Aw, oh, that's easy. But you never raced on snow. Well, it's about time we did. You're on. Yeah, we can go to Snow Globia. Okay. Yeah! Yippee! Yeah. Take it away! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song anymore. What? Steady Eddie giving up already? Come on, Eddie! Yeah! <laughs> hmm. Come on, Eddie. If you don't race, how can I win? I... I just don't think... I just don't want to, okay? <gasps> oh, boy. He's taking that fall pretty hard. Yeah. Poor Eddie. 
Here comes Princess Snowflake! Oh, double rats! Can someone coming, Princess Snowball? <laughs> it's Snowflake! <laughs> they can keep their saucers. I'm never riding one again. can't do that. Wow. How do you do that? I've never even seen those moves. Whoa, incredible. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can. Wait a minute. Is it? Magical? A magic snow saucer? So it is magic. So that's how a little penguin like you can do all those tricks. Well, if it is magic, maybe I won't fall off. Here goes. Whoa! Magic works! Saucer really is magic. I can beat anyone on this. <laughs> so long, little guy, and thanks. Eddie, where are you? Hey. You're back on your snow saucer. Huh? Well, are you ready? Um, yeah, I think so. Come on. Eddie, you're back. I've been, um, practicing. Okay, let's settle this once and for all. Okay, first pass Kobe Snowman is the winner. Hey, guys, over here. On your marks, get set, snow! <laughs> Wait. <sighs> Another tie. No way! Oh. Eddie, don't you want to try again? <sighs> it wasn't a fair race. You really won, Tessa. But Kobe said it was a tie. But it wasn't a tie. Not really. My snow saucer is magic. It did the work, not me. Tessa, you're the fastest. Magic snow saucer? Yeah, a little penguin let me borrow it. A little penguin? Uh-huh. But I saw that penguin pick up your saucer right after you left. You did? So it isn't magic? And that means all the racing you did just now was... All me? All you. Maybe you just needed your confidence back. So it was a tie. And you both are the fastest. No, I am. One more race. Okay, you're on. Hey, everyone. Whoa! <laughs> Princess Snowflake, are you okay? Ugh. It's Snowball. Just call me Snowball. <laughs> what you doing? Watching a snail. Oh, yeah? Why, hello there, young snail. I like how he kind of wriggles. Yeah, but really, really slowly. I'm a great wriggler. Hey, so am I. But I can wriggle really slowly. 
Yeah, but I can wriggle the slowest. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Coming to you from our own backyard stage, which was built by magical unicorns. Okay, I just made that up. It's the big show! Let's welcome our hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank, Thank you! Thank, Thank you. you! Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wigglebottom Band! We've all been working hard to put together a great show. Songs and jokes and Mia's fairy tale theater. But now, adventure! A trip to the jungle. Always full of fun and surprises. So let's get this rocking. Ziggy, make that music. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. <laughs> And you can come along. One more time, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an Tessa, we're trying to sing a song. I'm bored. Bored? But you were having such a good time helping Mia with the wardrobe. Finish that. And the props. You loved Did it. Bored, 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 bored. There's nothing to do. There's lots to do, if you know where to look. Have a seat and check out this very not boring song. <sighs> Ziggy, one more time. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Well, I guess I don't have anything else to do. Thanks, Mia. Bye-bye. Have fun. How can anyone be bored in the jungle? Don't know. Still am. We could go on a safari and see all the amazing jungle animals. Yeah, like dinosaurs. <sighs> Boring. Well, what have we found? Uh, a sloth! A sloth? <sighs> he seems even more bored than I am. Maybe we can unbore him. Mr. Sloth, want to do something fun? <sighs> okay. I know. How about a nature hike? We can look at all the wonderful wonders of nature. Sky, ground, sloth. That was nice. I'm done with nature. He's still bored. Got any other ideas? Hey, I know something everyone gets excited about. <laughs> In, Slothy. Okay. You'll love this. Ready, Eddie, go! Woohoo! That was awesome, right? No. 
not fun. Feel better? Yes. Still bored, though. I know what you mean. Hey, when I'm bored, you know what helps? A little exercise. Exer what? One, two, three, four, jump and then you jump some more. Five, six, seven, eight, doesn't that just feel so great? Yeah. <gasps> no. I'm beat. But you hardly even move. Don't you ever think about doing exciting stuff? Don't you dream about... Dream? You mean like sleep? No, dream, like use your imagination. Imagine what now? You've never heard of imagination? No wonder you're bored. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And it's staring back at you You've got the bottom blues You can cure them if you find Mr. Sloth totally made me not bored. Well, I hope I helped. Hmm. The moon. He doesn't sound bored to me. The moon. Imagination is fun! It's like for me. upon a long time ago in a very enchanted place, kind of like here, there was an evil witch. Sophie. Ooh, witchy witchiness. The mean, evil witch locked away a beautiful princess in the tall tower of total boredom, where the princess was totally bored. I was bored. But I'm not bored now. Look, I made an airplane. Hey, you're supposed to be a bored princess. Okay, but I can't be bored. This is a really fun tree house. It's supposed to be a tower. So, uh, anyway, a handsome prince came to save the princess. I am a handsome prince. Now you tell the princess to let down her long hair so you can climb up and... Not the ladder, her hair! See my airplane? Cool! This isn't boring, it's fun! <sighs> <sighs> and they lived happily ever after. Witchy witchiness! With the witch! I made an airplane too! Yay! in the treehouse with the ladder, the end. <sighs> what a show! We went to the jungle, we met a sloth, I tried to tell a fairy tale. And you did! Wasn't it so fun to make up a new ending? I guess so. It wasn't boring, that's for sure. Totally not boring. Remember. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're 
for the greatest show on Earth, the galaxy, the entire universe. Okay, just the neighborhood. Here are our hosts, Eddie and Sophie. Thank, thank you, thank you. you. One and all, please hold your applause. Okay, let's get started. Drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Dogs and toys. It's time for <laughs> Mia's Fairy Tale Theater. Ta-da! Uh, Mia, it's not time for your fairy tale yet. But I've been practicing. I don't want to wait anymore. It's time for our adventure. Your fairy tale comes later. You'll have to wait your turn. Oh, rats! Hit it, Ziggy. Ta-da! Did someone say Mia? No, I said Ziggy. Mia, we're going on a pirate adventure to find a sea monster. Oh, double rats. Take it away, Ziggy! Hey, here's the fairy tale princess. Fairy tales are lots of fun. <sighs> One more time, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Once upon a time, there was a... <gasps> hey! Yo ho ho, on the deep blue sea, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Arr! Ahoy there, Tessa! Ahoy, Sophie! Ahoy, Mia! <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, nice pirate ship. <laughs> Avast, ye piratey crew. Avast, Captain Eddie. Arr, mateys, you ready for a pirate adventure? We are. Set the course and keep your eyes peeled for any sea monsters. Or dinosaurs. <laughs> Pirate lunch ahoy! Are ye hungry? We, we are! are. Ah. Mia, no budding in line! But you didn't let me go first with my fairy tale. That doesn't mean you can cut in line for food. But I'm a very hungry princess, and princesses always go first. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I was first. Whoa, awesome. I mean, shiver me, Timbers. It's a sea monster. That's not a sea monster. It's an octopus. Octopuses make the best pirate pets ever. Thanks. Pardon, excuse me. <laughs> Arr, can you stay on board, Captain? Welcome to the crew, Octo Pirates. Yo. I guess 
guess we can forget lunch. Make speed, me hearties! Nice view! <sighs> First mate, on the double! Aye, aye, Captain! Excuse me, I'll be first mate! Let me go first! Me first! Me first! I got her first! Pardon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon. Hey, wait a minute. I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Always wanted to steer a pirate ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That pushy octopus is trying to take over our ship. Budinsky. That octopus thinks he always has to go first. Everything is all about him. We have to do something. I've got an idea. <laughs> Ta-da! Who wants to hear a story called The Princess and the Octopus? Excuse me, don't you mean the octopus and the princess? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I've got the perfect costume, so I'll be the princess. But who... who could be the octopus? Oh, me! Oh, me! <laughs> Excuse me, me! Why is Mia doing her fairy tale now? Once upon a time, there was a fairy princess. The fairy princess was very impatient, and she always liked to be first. She didn't mean to be pushy. She just got super excited, and... <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's the octopus? But then, an even pushier octopus pushed the princess and her friends so far that the princess turned to the octopus and said, Once upon a pirate ship, the princess found her first. So she went to get some water. Of course she got some first. Excuse me. <laughs> wow, you're so good at playing the pushy octopus. Have you heard this song before? Join the chorus. Me first, me first, me, me. me. Me, 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 me first. The princess and the octopus did a play they had rehearsed. But who would get the opening line? Who would walk on first? Me, me first, me first. Me, 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 me first. Up the rigging of the ship to cross the steady climb. But who would make it to the top in the fastest time? Me first, me, me first. Me, 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 me. me, me, me. <laughs> me, 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 me. Uh, <coughs> oh! The princess planned a swimming race, the ocean to traverse. But as she went to dive off, the octopus said, Me first, me, 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 me first. Hooray! Hooray! You did it! Yay for me! Great job! I'm sorry about being so pushy before, but did you like my fairy tale? Like it? We loved it! You got the octopus to jump overboard, and we didn't even have to push him. Ha! Who's first now? Me, 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 I bet I can run faster than anyone. I bet you can't. Last one down the slide is a rotten egg. Hmm. I got here first. Let me go first. I don't want to be a rotten egg. Yes, I'm first. Hey, Mia, you waited 
take your turn. I think you should go first. Thank you, Eddie. A princess should be sparkly because she is the worst. First I learned to wait your turn, then we'll have fun. Hooray! Okay, so who's next? Go ahead. No, after you. After you? <laughs> we may be little, but our show is big. Play that music, it's a super geek. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air, together. <laughs> 